Hello again, this is Queen Dreams coming back to you. Okay, so I'm going to get right into it because it's going to be a short one. We're going to focus on facts, not feelings. How many people realize that when we focus on our feelings, well, let me back up. When we focus on our thoughts, it tends to determine or decide how we feel about things. So just because we think something, it is not a fact. So sometimes with, um, I'll just put it out there, of course, we're in still dealing with quarantine measures in some places, although we are not mandated to stay home any longer. But then again, depending on where you are, they're starting to relax some of those um, restrictions and people are starting to move about. So there is still a lot of anxiety that we are seeing in society right now. Um, But I want to challenge you and say facts, focus on the facts, not the feelings. Yes, we feel tired of being in the house. Yes, we feel tired of all of the um, negative information that may be surfacing out here on the news and social media. But let's focus on the facts. We are still dealing with a pandemic. We're still dealing with a debilitating uh, medical disease called COVID-19 slash coronavirus. So when we're talking about why some people are feeling very anxious, let them have it. People have had lives to be changed in some of the most detrimental manners. Some people have experienced loss. So when we're out Be compassionate towards other people. When we're having conversations, be compassionate. It's very interesting that in the news, depending on where you are, we're seeing people to, we have seen recent reports of those who want to, quote, get back to our normal, get back to our lives, get back to how life was before this this very disturbing disease started to take over many lives. So, be compassionate about, consider just being compassionate about your response, about how you respond to people and their feelings. While we want to focus on our facts, it is still true that sometimes people will focus on their feelings. I just come to you today because I see I have had an influx of um, inquiries about anxiety and how people are managing their anxiety. Anxiety is real. It is not to be minimized, but even in your anxiety, I always caution individuals to focus on the facts, the what ifs, the how comes or the uncertainty or the excessive worrying. How is this going to work out? What if this doesn't work out? Will this work out? When is that going to work out? Those type of questions all tend to lean on your foundation of feelings. When you focus on the facts, the facts are, we don't know how long this is going to be out here. The facts are, not as of this date, there is not a cure. Fact. Fact. We don't know how this is going to turn out. We don't have the answers. So rather than focus on the feelings, the uncertainty, the excessive worrying, the, um, the... I guess I would say the irrational belief that nothing will work out. I would definitely encourage you to focus on the facts and not the feelings. It's not a fact that nothing will work out, will work out. Excuse me. It's not a fact that everything that you have worked so hard to earn, you're going to lose in a matter of a couple of months. I've seen inquiries and comments about, I'm going to lose my home. I'm going to lose my car. I'm going to lose everything that I worked for. Not so in just a couple of months. Let's work on facts, not feelings. Just because we feel it, it doesn't mean it's a fact. I also want to encourage you to use this time to really dig into your your principles that seem to help you cope when things just don't seem to be right for yourself. You know what those are. You definitely do. So, Let's dig into those things. For some, it's quality family time. For others, it may be spiritual principles. For others, it may be um, 
YouTubing, doing videos like these to kind of encourage you. It could be, quote, retail therapy. Yes, stores are beginning to reopen depending on where you are. Some stores never close depending on what your level of interest is. Try to switch your attention to some things that seem to build you up. Some things that tend to help you, encourage you. Um, reconnect to your goals. Focus on the fact that you have a purpose that is lying within you, waiting to be developed, waiting to just burst out of you. Focus on the fact we all have a purpose. We all were sent here with a mission. Now, you may not have discovered that mission just as of yet, but it's not a fact that it's not there. So I just want to stop by today and let you know we're here for you. Reach out to me if you need to get some help with focusing on your facts and especially not your anxiety feelings or your excessive worrying or your sadness or your uncertainty or your some of the detrimental things, some of the belief systems that seem to shake your core. Please reach out to me. I'll be more than privileged to work with you. More than privileged, more than honored. I'm here. My job is simple for ladies. I just want to inspire, encourage, and motivate you to live your life by design and not default. And even if you have defaulted to some things that you really didn't plan to happen, we can still get back up. That's what life is all about. We are on a journey, not a sprint. So let's do it together. Let's live life by design and not default. And that's one goal being checked off the list at a time. All my information for contact is out here. I'd be glad to hear from you. Thank you so much for taking your time to listen to me, Queen Dreams, talk about focusing on facts and not feelings. Be blessed.